Welcome back to my channel. So this is a special video. It's actually a collaboration with my girl Tap Into Beauty. So we decided to do an Instagram body makeup tutorial. This is what I came up with. It's just like a cool tone makeup and this is my first time to do full on cool tone makeup and it was kind of scary for me. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, yes, yes, I'm loving it. But yeah, I'm going to leave the link to tap into Beauty's channel and the video that she created for this collab down below. So make sure you check it out and make sure you subscribe and like and share her videos. Yeah, so if you want to see how I created this Instagram body look, then keep on watching. <laughs> Let's just pretend I have this nice flicky hair okay let's just pretend that okay so yeah anyways <laughs> let's get started um, i'm going to start by priming my eyelid with this kiko prime pearly eye base i'm just going to do that sometimes i don't prime but i just um i use a concealer so next i'm going to use my base and I'm going to use my concealer as always. And I'm going for cold colors for my transition color. I'm going to use this, like a, I don't know, it's like a grayish brown shade from the Morphe 35 35C palette. You just wanna apply it as your transition shade back and forth now that's done I'm going to darken up the crease a bit so I'm going to use this grey shade right now you just want to apply it onto your crease and just blend it out back and forth like so this brush isn't really perfect for the crease because it's too big but we're gonna work with it so now for my eyelid color, I'm going to use the Morphe 35 U palette. As you guys can see, I love the Morphe palette. I'm actually obsessed with them. They're very pigmented. So I'm going to use this gray, like a shimmery silver color. I just want to pack it in the eyelid. So you guys can see it's very 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 pigmented, and that's what I love about this color. So you wanna go back with the blending brush, I would say the brush that you apply the transition color with. You just wanna blend it out, because you don't want no harsh lines, so make sure it's proper blended. So now I'm going to apply my mascara, and I'm using the L'Oreal Sculpt Mascara. for that to dry I'm just going to apply my eyeliner on my waterline this is a jet black eyeliner by MUA and for my lashes I'm going for some mink lashes and you guys know how mink lashes are quite expensive if you can afford it then you can use these lashes from um, Vanessa and they're pretty much similar you can double them and this is only five pounds and yeah it's from vanessa k vanessa k her on youtube she got her on lash line it's called lashed by Ness. i'm gonna leave the link down below so you guys can check it out and yeah you can pretty much double it and you get the same thing so yeah i'm just going to apply the lashes and i'll be back so now i'm going to highlight my face with these two concealers maybelline fit me and a girl for myself.
gonna take your foundation brush and blend it out. to contour using the LA Girl Pro Conceal So you wanna take your blending brush, use the back side and just blend. To take my highlight, I'm going to apply the W7 Banana Dream. I'm, I'm using my beauty blender to apply it with. Just Because I used a cream contour, I'm going to set it with a powder contour. And this is the flick, flick, the flick. This is the flick. This is the flicky flick. Okay. <laughs> no, but this is the sleek contour kit in medium. My face looks so big. Even now, it's gonna cry. Do you know how Portia cried because her face was big? I could think my face was so big. <laughs> you guys, you can't take me serious, okay? <laughs> Portia made me laugh. If you haven't seen that video on Instagram, then you, sh you should check um, Portia's page because. That girl made me stop. So now I'm going to apply some powder all over my face. And I'm just going to bake like hair, uh, just for like two seconds, literally, with the banana dream powder. So then before I move on, I'm going to finish off the eyes, okay? I'm going to apply this brown kind of grey shade first. Then I'm going to apply this grey shade, dark grey. So for my inner tear dark area, I'm going to use this silver colour. I need to buy my favourite mascara, which is um, which is the real mascara by Benefit Cosmetics. I love that mascara. It was making my eyelashes pop especially my bottom lashes and I miss that so much so now I'm going to finish off the face I'm going to first bronze up my face with the CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronzer that's a long one So to highlight my face, I'm going to use the Wild and Radiant Palette by BH Cosmetics. 
So I'm going to first go in with this gold highlighter. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. A lighter gold shade. I'm doing the most right now. Life is happy, but it's so insane. We must be my favorite part. And just I'm so tired. Not too much. So for my blush, I'm going to use my favorite everyday brush, which is the MAC Razor Brush. So for my lips, I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick, and this is Gravity. This is my first time trying it, by the way. I'm going to use a dark purple lip liner just to go over it. We will always take a stand for the people for the land. Let's go. Wow, I love this lip color. So yeah, <laughs> let me finish off before I just go on. So I'm going to apply this glow mist by Pixie. Savannah, 